welcome back. If you're new here, please subscribe and comment below as I get back to all my comments and subscriptions really help with my channel as you get to see um, my new content weekly. I post on my channel every Thursday and Sunday and I try and post Thursday about five, half five and then Sunday about 10 o'clock but sometimes the times vary a bit depending on what's happening as I'm trying to get my videos all pre-planned now as this is less stressful for me and I know I've got content. So with that I'm going to get on with a shop with me. Today I'm doing a shop with me in Poundland. I do a lot of shopping videos and shopping hauls on my channel but as we went to a Poundland I thought I'd have a look inside as hadn't been for about two months so I wanted to see what they got in store and what was new. I didn't film a lot with the Pep & Co as they didn't have a lot of clothes but I wanted to have a look at the garden stuff because I've got another video to do with the garden that I want to do in a month or two. So I'm just slowly building up things for that as well because I'm thinking to do like a little balcony makeover. So I hope that will be a good video as well. So I've seen a few of these and really, really enjoy them. And I did have a look at the homeware stuff but they didn't seem to have a lot of that in. So I'm just going to go and have a look and see what they've got. Let me know if you find anything useful in this video or you want me to film any other videos, any other shop with me's or do a haul somewhere else. As I'm always listening to suggestions, I had a lovely lady the other day get in touch saying that she wanted a TK Max shop with me. So I did that and then I'll probably do another one of them in August time. So I'm hoping to go back there and do another TK Maxx one in a few months time. There's a lot to keep them spaced out for the seasons really. Whereas if you do them all close together then nothing really changes because the shops are still trying to turn over stock from the pandemic. So some of them are still trying to get rid of winter stock so they can get the summer stuff in. Everything's behind you see. So with that I'm just going to get on with the shop with me. I hope you enjoy it. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Just as I walked into this power van store I think they're all going to be the same They had this Father's Day range They had plates, cups, bowls here Then they had some barbecues which I thought was a nice idea If your dad needs a new barbecue Oh that's what he enjoys doing in the summer we then got some chocolates and sweets from well-known brands and companies here. We got some Quality Street, Aero, Celebration and Cadbury. And then we got some Bassett sweets, the main yards down below. Then we got these t-shirts as well, which I thought was a nice idea to have a clothing, a little clothing range. And they had some flip shops as well, as it's kind of summer leg, as well as Father's Day. And they had some games and art things down the bottom here. They've also got these hamper baskets as well, so you could make your own little hampers as well. And get the set of flowers from the florist and wrap it all yourself. They also had these flip flops as well. So I thought that was quite nice and it all seems reasonably priced as well. You and I, the future is bright. We're just moving into the car section now. I find this section quite interesting because they have a good range of different things for your car. They've got a car windshield cover there. They've got headrests, like cushions for your neck. You can get a stiff neck when driving when you turn around shouting at the children. They've also got these gloves as well and they've got these air fresheners as well which can get quite cheap. Over here they've got some household tiles which just stick on and they might make a nice splash back on the budget. They've got some spray cut and some washing line. Over here they've got some little grabber things like little pickers. And then they've got the sugar soap and elbow grease. They've also got the, the sealants as well. And then they've got these red buckets, which I think I showed you guys last time for painting. This is the painting and decorating section. 
Over here we've got the heavy loaf display and they have got some new scents and the range has really expanded actually within a year or two with everyone at home and cleaning so they've expanded the range into air fresheners and other bits and pieces. range but they didn't have much to say flora so if you're going to look for that then I'd make a size somewhere else. We're just moving on to the plastic section here where they've got beakers for breakfast, bottles for drink and they've also got matching sandwich boxes as well. They've also got these airtight seal containers which are like the OXO ones the pound and zone and they've got these sandwich boxes as well here are the breakfast ones the breakfast pots that you can add granola or yogurt or whatever in with your special tail whatever it is you're eating or your oat so they've got a good range there and they've got these mini cereal dispensers down the bottom Just starting off in Pet and Co gifts now. Got some cheap lanterns there for four pounds. Got three drawers for five pounds, and then we've got these artificial plants down here, starting from about three pounds. We've also got these plant pots as well, and got these lovely snow globes that say love inside. Then we've got the lovely monkeys. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil which I think is quite apt for the time we're going through at the moment. And here we've got more lanterns. I think these are for outside this garden section. And they've got some lovely baskets on the wall and different pots and hanging pots for balconies and walls. So they're quite nice. <laughs> outdoor clocks and solar lights and they've also got these lovely lanterns again I feel these would be quite nice outside if you could get a large anti-flight you know the yellow candles that stop the flies coming by you and biting you that's quite nice if you could get one of them for the lanterns over here we've got some different ornaments and bits and pieces and we've got these angels which are good for in the garden or on graves. We've also got this scary elf girl thing over here. We've also got these paintings and elf doors over here. And you can paint your own, I think, there as well. We've got quite a range of stuff to be honest. Over here we've got trimmings for the edging. We've got some cheap forks, rakes and little trowels and we've also got some seeds and brackets for your hanging baskets. These are the fairy doors as well which is slightly different from the other ones I showed you. We've got some lovely barbecue stuff here with aprons and I think they've got them candles that I was talking about, them fly candles just at the top there and the multicolours and they've got different bits of coal and things, gas burners, they've got scrubbers and all sorts of different things to go with the barbecue. I've also got some glasses there I think as well, some cups to stick in the glass, glass that you can hold up. Here we're moving on slowly into the children's toy section. We've got these water pistols, water hoops which would be nice in the pattern one of them deep paddling balls. And then we've got the buckets and spades as well. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. 
I just wanna feel alive got some barbecues here which I think were the same ones that we saw at the beginning of the video at the front of the shop. Here we've got the buckets and spades, beach balls and other bits and pieces which is quite nice. And then we've got these like fishing games, snorkels, more water games really. And we've got the buckets and we've got the bass and ball here which is Velcro, we used to have a set like this that absolutely loved it. We've got some balls there for ball pit, super soaker and we've got some more skipping ropes and outdoor summer games really which is all fun for the family as well even if you only go on a day trip to the beach or something. I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else I thought I'd quickly show you the party stuff as it's still the same really as last time. They've still got blue, pink and they've got gold as well. Here's my finger to send across the screen now. I need to get a proper hold of my phone. If anyone knows of anywhere to get a decent plug for the back of my phone, then let me know. Got a range of colours to see all styles and tastes. Got pink, gold, Christmas effect, which is white with gold stars there. Then they've got some typical party type designs here. These are all birthday candles and things to put in party bags if people still have those. And they've got headbands and lovely things for parties really. They're really nice. Deep down in the side of love that I die. Got some lovely homeware stuff here, it's very cheap. So this would be good for people moving out for the first time and setting up home or even people moving away to the internet for the first time who have to buy bins and cut their egg and different bits and pieces for when they move out. So that would be quite good as well and it's reasonably priced. I'm back now. So I hope you enjoyed that shop with me. I really enjoyed having a look around Poundland. I think they'd run out a lot of garden stuff because it's getting on a bit now, the summer season. I know it's just started in June for us here in the UK, but for shops it's getting quite late and a lot of the time they don't stock up once it's sold. So I was talking about this to people the other day, we were saying about the plants and stuff. Garden stuff is selling, like benches and things, but then they won't stock it up again. They'll just be like, oh, that's that now. We don't want to buy any more because we don't know if we're going to sell it or how it's going to go. So they did have a bit of a range of garden stuff. They had some trellises and they had other things, but they didn't have anything like this artificial thing here. Um, That's from the range, by the way. And that's just a temporary home because I thought it would make a nice backdrop for my videos temporarily. That's going somewhere else, though. So. And what else did they have? Oh yes, they had like what everyone else is doing, like the artificial plant in the pots, in foam or in the resin. But to be honest, I wasn't impressed with the artificial flowers and plants, the um, artificial flowers and the plants. Yeah, that's it. In the pound lands, some of them looked a bit frayed around the edges and a bit cheap and a bit naff really, not very good quality. When you compare it to Home Sense, Dunelm, B&M and all these other shops that are all doing similar things, Poundland hasn't really upped their game with the artificial flowers and plants. I did have a look at the homeware as well in there, but there wasn't very much. They, um, Poundland, I don't know, it's a bit hard when you're used to like B&M and these places that switch up their stock constantly. Poundland just seems to have like a flat level of of um stock and they never really switch it up really. They do they've, they've got the garden stuff in now, but that's the only thing they change. They have like one or two oils that they change seasonally and everything else stays the same, like the cleaning, obviously that stays the same in everyone's store. But like the homeware is all pep and cone out and I did have a look at it, but it isn't really me. 
I've never bought anything that's Pep and Co. So let me know below, guys, what you think. Um, comment below and I'll get back to you. And please subscribe and smash the like button as this really helps my channel. And I'm slightly reworking some of my content, some of the videos I'm trying to make shorter because people aren't watching the full 20 minute videos. So I'm trying to get some shorter videos on and do like 20 minutes or less at the moment. And I'm also doing the shop with me's and going back into that and some shopping hauls here and there. I have got some ideas for the future for the shopping hauls. So I'm just going to see how that goes. And I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to plan my content to get more prepared. So when I'm at work, I don't have to worry about videos going live and not having content. Day, when I get one day off, and then I've got to upload the following day. Because I do get four days off, four days on. But I want to be re really prepared for the future of my channel and have all my uploads ready and keep making content once I've edited them and uploaded them as well. So that's something I'm working hard on and I'm also working hard on my Instagram. So I'll see you all soon. Bye!